Hi guys, you've got your event TDs here. I'm Chris Ozalans. And I'm Steve Foster. Welcome to the 2018 Ontario Women's Disc Golf Championship at Brownie Creek Provincial Park in Oakville, Ontario. We'd like to take a quick second and thank our sponsors, Prodigy Canada, PDGA Canada, Edgemont Media, Dynamic Discs, Lorraine Kent Baking, and John Ozalans Real Estate. Without your support, this event wouldn't have been possible. Let's take a second and learn about our players. Hello, my name is Brianna Ainsley and my favorite disc is the Full Turn Discs Passport Putter and they are my sponsor as well as Fossa Disc Golf. Thanks so much. Hi, my name is Colleen McGinnis. My PDGA number is 78677 and my favorite disc is the Fel Shaw. Ha ha ha. Hi, I'm Erica Tucker and today my favorite disc is the Pro Thunderbird. Je m'appelle Jacin Goulard de Wallen, Ontario, et mon disque préféré, c'est le F2 par Prodigy Discs. Je parle le français aussi. Uh, we're starting up on hole one. Uh, we're starting from an alt pad, actually. It's not on the map, but uh, it's a little shorter than the short pad. Uh, kind of brings the OB into play more. You see there's a big pond of OB in front of the basket. Uh, my intro for Brianna got cut off, but she's from Squamish and here to win an Ontario Women's Championship, if she can. It's a good shot, just to the left in the safety zone, away from the OB. Teeing off second, the hometown girl from Burlington, Ontario, Colleen McKinnis. No way. No. Oh. Nice little shot yeah, and slap in the face. Team High five. From Beautiful. Collingwood, Ontario. Oh, and for sure. Be Erica Tucker. <laughs> that was a good run. And uh, you should get familiar with that disc if you're watching Erica. It's her Team yellow board. Pro Thunderbird. You'll see it a lot. Welland, but she's a sturgeon girl at heart. Justine. One of my favorite things is how you say Jacint. I'm sorry in advance, Jazz, every time I say it. That's why you have a nickname. It's just too hard for me to pronounce. And Jazz lays up safe. To be fair, I can't roll up the rim either. I can't do that. So you'll notice everyone laying up because that patch of kind of long grass behind the elevated basket there is OB, so... Generally, if you're hitting chains, you have a good chance of rolling OB. One person who won't be laying up is Colleen with the birdie, though. That's a pretty great shot. Now it's just a matter of cleaning up. And clean. So while everyone taps in here, we got uh, Colleen taking a stroke on the card with that great shot. Heading into hole two with a two-way tie for the lead. Uh, we're going to be playing from the red pad on most of the holes. We'll be playing from the red pad, actually. It's a pretty straight shot. You just have to avoid the trees on the left there, and you've got about another 100 feet to clear before you get to the basket. Uh, fortunately, we had an issue with the sound on this hole again, but this is the last hole we had that issue with, so uh, we're going to guide you through it. Nice looking shot from Brianna there. Let's see where that goes. The skip. She should be about uh, 15 feet from there. Uh, if you were wondering, Pro Thunderbird again. Nice little rip right there. Oh, that got caught up in that grass. See if uh, Jazz can uh, best that shot. Ooh. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> okay, so this is Jazz's third shot. She uh, Her second shot was from down in Narnia there. Let's see if she can get up and down. A little bit short, but it looks like... Probably in her range, though. A little bit of an awkward stance for Colleen here. Oh, good run. Yeah, 
You'll notice Erica has a somewhat uh, non-standard approach to throwing up shots and drives. Uh, it's her ultimate background being reflected in her form, and uh, you'll see it a lot. You know she'll really follow through on her drives. There she goes. She cashes in the 15-footer for the bird. She takes that stroke back that uh, Colleen took her from her on hole one. And everyone's uh, cleaning up their threes. I think Jazz will be t tapping in for a five. It's indeed a five. It's okay. She'll uh, bring it back on the next hole. So on that one, uh, Brianna took that stroke back, and she's up by one again over Colleen. Okay, starting hole three. Uh, if you've ever played Brawny before, you'll notice this is a tight hyzer. You kind of want the disc to flip up a bit because you'll ride a ridge to the end. Let's see how the girls do. It's a good shot, safe up on the left. Great rip from Colleen there. Sounded like she was trying to hit her boyfriend, Chris. Uh, that. Oh, that is a roll. It's four for four for clearing the corner. Yeah, clearing the corner. <laughs> oh, no. Ooh, Brianna put it uh, about circle's edge on her drive. Ooh. Oh, no. Last chance at a birdie for the card? Probably about 20 feet here. She got banded. I'd rather miss high than low every time, so you can't blame her for taking that approach. Oh, and there's that low miss. Would someone put it in, please? Thank you, Erica. Bunch of cleanups happening here. And uh, no birdies on this hole, but uh, yeah, Jazz had the uh, bogey. Looks like uh, Brand is still up by one. On to hole four. Uh, we're going to be playing this down a tight corridor that opens up to the uh, C pin. Uh, very similar shot to the last hole, a little less hyzer on the end. Got to hit that gap right there. Oh, you did it again. And, yep. <laughs> uh, sounds like she did that first round, too. Yeah. That's a good looking yeah. shot there. I believe that's Colleen's Black Ooh. Truth. Sitting about five and a half feet from the basket. What a great shot that was. Ooh. That is a little bit left. I wish we could uh, put a ticker on the bottom of the screen for a number of pro Thunderbirds thrown by Erica Tucker. That would be four for four. A little bit of a grip lock there by Jazz. Let's see if she can iron that out as the uh, day goes on. <laughs> oh, Pretty, uh, Direct route to the basket from here for Brianna. Oh, I love it. Oh, do it. Oh, nice try. Ooh. Low left, but uh, just the right amount of spin on it, and she saves a birdie. If you know Colleen, that's a tap in for her. It's a great birdie by Colleen on this one. Taking a, at least a stroke on the card. Does that bring them back to Tide? I believe that does bring them back to Tide. It looks like we have a battle shaping up for first place. Yeah, look at that. So Colleen two down for the round. We're back at even after four. 
Poll number five. Looks vastly different now, but uh, when we did play this, uh, we played from the blue tee. So you have to throw under the willow branch there. It's kind of a pinch point. Uh, let's see if you can keep their putters or mid ranges straight. Colony kept that straight into the bushes. Yeah. Still there. A lot of ooh yeahs there. Erica rips yeah. this one. And where's that going? Ooh, and go to see you later. Ooh. It's like a black Great shot by Jazz. Safe. Only in a little half Tommy roller. Didn't roll far enough. That's Eric throwing her next shot from the upside down. Wow. Look at that putt. Great knee under the tree birdie putt. There it goes out, cashed it up for the bogey. Time to move on. Colleen cleans up for the bogey. Jazz hits a great putt for the par right there. On that one, Brianna takes that stroke back on Colleen. Erica's not too far behind at uh, plus six. She's got a little ground to make up still. We're heading to hole six. Uh, this one's 300 feet on the dot. Uh, you got to play over the valley, which was not playing OB for the tournament, uh, but now does. We'll see who's got the distance. It's a great drive into the safe zone on the left before the OB road. Same thing with Jazz. That's got some legs to it. I think that's Colleen's jade there. And I think... I believe that is... I think it's a shrike. Yeah. I think that's a shrike. For the second straight hole, we have not seen a pro Thunderbird. Oh, yeah. Look at that tree kick. And it clearly worked out. Colleen from about 45 feet. Oh, good run. She's been on on all her putts uh, today, even when she's missing. She's on the basket. It's a good sign. That's a safe par. Did she make it? A little left, a little left. Look at Erica's drive, just sitting right there. I wonder if she got tired of waiting for her turn. She seems to be playing in a different climate than the other people on the card. She's wearing the tank top. And I mean, we got some jackets out there. When you're throwing drives like that, you're hot. Bunch of tap outs here. We got Erica taking a stroke on the card. Yeah, that hole's no joke. It's 300 feet over a valley with trees in the way near the basket. So it looks like Erica's uh, making a push to uh, catch up here. Okay, hole seven's a bit of a toughie. It's actually a uh, par four with an island green. Double mando that you have to reach across the valley, but you'll see most players laying up here in the... Uh, Standard zone for your approach shot. Erica comes up a bit short. She is well short of the ideal landing zone. Brianna throwing the thumber, which is a textbook thumber for this hole to ensure that she's not going to go too long into the valley.
Colleen landing right next to Brianna right there. That looks yeah. like a uh, Rock 3. DX Rock 3. Where yeah. is... Good shot by Jazz, too. Yeah. Wow. That is... Yeah, the man is right. What a rip by oh. Erica. That was going deep. Unfortunately, that missed the uh, double mando for the approach. You can see it on the left and right tree there. So she'll be throwing from the drop zone for uh, four. It's a great shot by Jazz here. And Jazz lands safe in that little cutout spot on the island. Great for her. This is looking fantastic. Should be... Oh. <laughs> Colleen's real passionate about this game. Passionate is a word. Oh, no. Not happening! <laughs> Brianna seems to have gone mad for a moment there. Disappointed with her shot, but uh, she won't be disappointed with her putt. What a great get from that drop zone. That's not an easy putt. The basket's surrounded by OB. There's that's, so much danger. That's easily 40 feet there. Oh my god, we almost had two in a row. Can you even believe that? Oh, more colorful language. These girls are passionate. Jazz. Look at that birdie look for Jazz. She hasn't been having the greatest round, but to have a birdie look on this hole is impressive. Oh, yeah. She'll have to take highlights by the end of the day and, and remember that she is capable of all of this. Hey, we're friends forever now. So on that hole, Brianna can the par, Colleen got the uh, bogey, so we're back to three strokes separating first and second. Erica's still lingering in third, but uh, anything could happen. All right, we're on to hole eight. Uh, hole eight plays downhill uh, into the valley below with a bit of a ceiling. You do not want to come up short left on this hole. It's going to cut off your approach to the basket. Great shot by Brianna. She got under the ceiling. Didn't glide far enough to get to the basket, but uh, she'll have a look. So Jazz came up short left. You don't want to be there. You do not want to be there. There's Erica's pro Thunderbird in action again. Kisses off the tree slightly, and uh, she's looking pretty good. It's a great shot. See what Colleen has to offer. Just throwing her escape here. Yeah, it's flipping up nicely. That's the shot. Come on, that get up, get up. Uh -oh. oh, wood pile. Here, Brianna talking to uh, Colleen's disc. Uh, it's fantastic camaraderie on the card. You could definitely tell they're all playing the course, not each other. It's always what you want to see. Colleen put a run on that. She went deep. Yeah, it left her about 30, 30 feet deep of the basket, unfortunately. She's going to have to save a, a par. Brandon's not happy with that right out of her hand. Did a bit of a frog jump after that putt. Erica wanted that. You could tell by the way she was lining that up. She wanted it. Colleen's trying to save her par here. Come on, Colleen. Just a bit low. You can tell Colleen wanted that. Look in the background. She's just standing there. She's thinking about what just happened. I bet she wishes she could have that back. If Zuka handles could speak. We got a bunch of tap outs here. She does. She doesn't want to be filmed putting it out, but we do though. Letter of the law states yeah. we have to see it because the rest of your crowd's uh, not watching. That's what's happening right here. You're gonna take that bogey, and you're gonna lose another stroke to Brianna here, and I'm gonna film it. So, moving on to hole nine. Yeah, hole nine's uh, traditionally a birdie hole, one of the signature holes at Bronte. Uh, there's a bit of a creek in front of the hole. Any short shots will usually end up in that creek with a bit of a rollaway risk on their putts. Let's see what Brianna can give here. A little bit too high, and that wound up one of those short shots. She's going to have to be careful with her putt here. That's a very steep hill around the basket. Pro Thunderbird. That is a great shot. Jazz a little bit high too. She's following in Brianna's footsteps there. I think she'll be in the uh, valley below. Looking at a bit of a tough shot. This is getting exciting in catch cam. Ooh. That's a good shot. She's a bit long, though. That's a scary putt. This is a very scary putt from Brianna here. Ooh. Oh, no. Brianna is hungry here, though. She wanted that, but that rolled a good 60 feet away down the hill. Yeah, that may have been a function of being kind of a visitor from out of province. Uh, 
most people who play this hole a couple times will get that roll away and uh, promptly just lay up on that shot. See, Colleen, the local, smart layup right there. She knows if she misses this, it's going back down there, and she's going to be taking a bogey. Yeah. Take the stroke when you can get it. That's a great birdie from Erica. She's taken a stroke, a stroke on Colleen here and two strokes on Brianna. So Erica's definitely making a move right now. Goulard is tapping in on her Goulard golf with her par, and uh, she's happy to take it to the next hole. So we have some tap-ins here, and uh, yeah, so like I said, Erica takes two strokes on Brianna, one on Colleen, and that does it for the front nine here. We have a three-stroke lead with Brianna over Colleen, and five strokes over Erica. Thanks for tuning in on the front nine. And yeah, we'll see you on the back. Nice catch.